Hey everybody, and welcome back to another day of Black Canary. This is day number two that we're look we're, we're looking at right here. I am your host, Hades Timer, as always, and uh, this is a guild multiverse event. This is one of the things that you can do um, if you are in a guild to get guild points, and uh, with guild points come rewards. You can't argue with that. Too bad I don't trust your family. Begin. What are the rewards? Uh, you can get mother boxes. You can uh, get guild tokens, uh, which you can turn in for mother boxes. So basically, you get mother boxes. Yes. <laughs> what are the rewards? The rewards are mother boxes. All right. Um, this is a uh, event you can only complete once a day, according to the um, according to the the handy dandy writing on the. Uh, on the event and um, what this is is basically just a higher difficulty of uh, challenge than a normal ladder would be um, for this level of character um, I believe that there weren't any uh, they do they do match levels on this one this is not a level specific uh, thing but it is also a higher uh, the AI is a higher difficulty so it's a little bit tougher. Uh, they don't really put that out there blatantly. I think it's supposed to be inferred from the difficulty number uh, by the multiverse world itself, but um, they're not exactly making it clear that it's a harder, you know, that's a harder challenge. But uh, it's okay. I figured it out. It's a harder challenge. Um. Some of these objectives, these additional objectives that they want you to complete uh, during a match uh, can really mess you up. Um, I've got to say, as somebody who, generally speaking, felt like in an in, an, in uh, Mortal Kombat X, that those, are, that those objectives were just sort of like, oh, I would probably do that anyway. Um, they've kind of taken that to a different level here. And, uh, and I just turned 15. Yay! Um, they've taken that to a different level here, and it really is not the same type of thing. Uh, there's also a lot of enemies, uh, in this ladder, uh, FYI. That's another part of it. <laughs> Any last words, birdie? I'll whisper them in your ear. Begin. I was able to watch a, uh, intro video, uh, that is just... A video of all the intros of one character um, that exist and I was really surprised at how much repetition there is and how much there is actually like some kind of a in in the case that uh, I was watching I was watching a, uh, a mr. freeze one and there's actually seems like there's a story built into that uh, built into that um, intro set but you'd have to watch all the intros to get it uh, and some of the intros are really really important like uh, Catwoman and um, Batman and uh, Deadshot but the rest of them are of varying levels of worth uh, but if you watch the Mr. Freeze intros when he fights Batman uh, Deadshot or Catwoman, actually all three, I can't watch some and not all, because you won't get it. Um, you get like this, that there's this other story going on, that, like Mr. Freeze is hiring some some uh, mercenaries to um, finally find the, the thing that to save his wife and everything else, and then it just all goes off the rails, where you, when you listen to other characters, um, that it's just, then the rest of it is just sort of this bland, oh, I have to help my wife, I have to do research to help my wife. Um, I mean, if you look at the lore, obviously, that is the driving force behind what Mr. Free, you know, Victor Freeze does. He, um, he's trying to save his wife. Uh, she has uh, incurable disease, and she f he froze her so that uh, she could, you know, once they fi figure out what the cure to the disease is, they can bring her back to life. You know, they can they can defrost her, and uh, they can cure the disease. But when he froze her, 
he also did he at the time he froze her at least this is what i got from the story um he doesn't know exactly how to unfreeze her without killing her let's make a canary cry that's exactly what you don't want begin but that could be a uh, that could definitely be a dc universe thing like Whichever universe you're in, maybe it was told one way or a different way. Um, most of the most of the stuff that I got, you know, that from was more um, like the animated series, for instance. Um, the good ones, not you know, not the weird ones or the bad ones. But anyway, uh, so it's very interesting that they did that. The thing is, is that he is a character skin. Uh, he is a uh, you have to unlock him with. Um, power uh source crystals and once you do that uh you can play as him uh in all of your games but the problem is is that he uh his gear does not change at all um at least visibly uh there will be you know you can have whatever you want you know as his gear but it won't change his uh, appearance so um, while that's you know in one way that's really cool uh, in the sense that you know nobody knows which you know kind of knows what kind of gear you have um, in another way it's kind of annoying because he's just a static character then in the game so if you don't like the way he looks uh, which he looks okay he doesn't look great but he looks okay um, if you don't like the way he looks he's never gonna look any different um, which kind of sucks. Uh, there aren't even any shaders that you can apply to him. Um, perhaps that there are other shaders that are locked that do apply to him that you can get. Um, but uh, not that I have seen. In any case, though, that's kind of that's cool. And I really love the way that they did it with the intros. It's just sad that it won't go anywhere because he's not really a full character in the game. So it's not like you're going to see, a, you know, a story thing or anything about that. Maybe they'll do a multiverse with him. I don't know. I mean, it would be cool if they did. But the problem with that is that uh, you have to have that premium skin. You have to have purchased uh, the, the skin with source crystals. However, you get the source crystals is up to you um, in order for him to, you know, be something that you can use in the game. So for all the people who didn't do that it's you know it won't work why didn't you fight the regime they helped the planet for a time by oppressing people begin basically i haven't really been using any of those uh premium skins as yet uh pr mostly because i like watching the gear change uh in the uh, on the characters that the premium skins are for uh i started using them for Flash for a little while, but sort quickly got tired of it. Uh, reverse Flash is really cool, and I really do like Reverse Flash, but eh, you know, after a while, if it doesn't change, if they don't change at all, you know, if you can't even change the shader, it does get you know a bit, you know, like eh, whatever, you know. Um, but I could definitely see other characters um, that people really, really want in the game that aren't in the game and that aren't going to be in the game um, if they could just uh, if they could have premium skins as well that would probably be really cool and a nice uh, a nice compromise you know um, unfortunately I think that a lot of the characters that people want in the game they want them in the game because they're so unique uh, so having premium skins for them probably wouldn't work uh, as the characters in the game probably could not be made to look enough like them and do enough similar things that it would work out. So, uh, while on the one hand it's really cool, on the other hand it's kind of like, well, there's only so much they're going to be able to do with that. So, I definitely appreciate the effort. But, um, just so much you can do with it, you know. But uh, I really do love the game. I think it's one of the best fighting games that have come out that has come out in a long time. Uh, I definitely believe that this is a better game than MKX, and uh, I think that 
the amount of things that you can do in single player, the amount of um, characters in the game, and the quality of the presentation. Go to hell, Jordan. Still angry with me? Is my Ollie still dead? Begin. Really make it, you know, rise above just about anything that's out there as far as fighting games and even a lot of other other games that are not fighting games. Um, the character presentation in this game is absolutely incredible. Um, the the skin on the characters, um, the human characters, is absolutely second to none, and uh, the way that um, the animations are done for the faces is absolutely amazing. Um, the way that they can actually be expressive in what they say and um, you know how they're feeling and everything else I think is just absolutely incredible and something that you don't normally see or you definitely don't see in fighting games and um, until recently you don't really see in other games either uh, I would say that like Horizon Zero Dawn and um, to a certain degree Persona 5 but I, I don't know Persona 5 has kind of a they they start to get into that realm, but because it's so stylized, sometimes it's very difficult to tell. So uh, yeah, that they could do better. But uh, Horizon Zero Dawn for sure uh, has some amazing amazing facial animations, and so much of it too that uh, you know that the just the sheer number of people that they had to uh, you know they had to have is absolutely staggering. Uh, and then, of course, Uncharted 4, uh, which is still, to me, one of the kings of um, storytelling and facial, you know, facial expression and animation. Uh, just the, the sheer quality of what they were doing in that game uh, <clears throat> from a visual and cinematics perspective is just amazing. Um, but this game definitely ranks right up there with those other two uh, as being absolutely amazing and incredible and I, I really hope that people uh, do play the story mode uh, I know a lot of um, pros and people who want to be pros and you know that that sort of thing don't play the story mode don't play any single player you know they just jump in and they uh, jump into ranked and they you know they jump into training mode first obviously and then they jump into ranked and uh, just play a whole bunch. I need no instruction in warfare. There's no other reason for you to be here. Begin. And ignore everything else. Um, but I really hope that you know those guys give it at least a try. Um, they probably a lot of them have because they they stream, so they probably stream the story mode. But uh, it's pretty it's pretty amazing what they do with the story mode. Uh, the only thing that I would have really liked to see was somehow um, they would have used uh, Brainiac, Brainiac as a amazing ending in this uh, in the uh, multiverse arcade ladder, and I really wish they would have somehow incorporated that into the story mode because that would have also been really cool. Uh, shades of like Smallville for sure in that one and. Uh, of course, the comics, uh, they, they definitely explored that storyline in the comics. But uh, I think a lot of people will remember it. You know, a lot of the less, um, the people who have, who have read less comics and watched more TV and movies will probably be more aware of it from Smallville. So uh, that would be pretty cool uh, if they had been able to somehow incorporate that into the story. But, um, you know... I guess I guess it's a really really good story when we always you know when we're always looking for ways for it to be uh, you know more uh, rather than you know me sitting here going God I'm glad the story mode ended when it did I was just so done <laughs> you know so I, I guess the fact that I wanted more and I wanted them to do more with it definitely shows that it was a uh, very good experience and worth it I do that quite a lot on Black Canary actually I. Uh, I super too early. Uh, she has that jump, and I'm always trying to get it, uh, get the uh, super out, 
so it lands on top of their back so that they can't um, they can't get out of it um, but unfortunately that leads to me missing sometimes so that's kind of a pain but you know it happens and as I said this this was a lot of work uh, to get through this ladder uh, and um, it took quite a while uh, but I am showing you you know basically the highlight reel here um, probably you know not every not every win is gonna be a win the first time but uh, I think it's gonna be pretty much the first or second time uh, I believe I've I've removed any of the really disastrous evidence from the <laughs> video <laughs> of me being not as good as I should be at this point um, Dark side is dark side super uh, is um, definitely blockable and definitely reactable. Um, I have not seen it uh, come out against the computer against the AI where you could not react to it and you could not get out of it. Um, people online, I'm not entirely sure how they do it um, if they're not controlling the beam uh, or what because I've definitely seen it blocked far more than I've seen it um, go through which is odd considering um, you know basically it lands every single time against the AI and what the reason why I think that's weird is that if I mean the AI basically I would say 90% of the time can do things that no person with anything less than professional execution would be able to do and yet if they're not blocking the Omega beams it's like why you know why not you know um, I definitely will be interested to take a look uh, when I play online I definitely will try playing dark side and see how, how hard that is to land because uh, it doesn't seem like people have much much success from the little bit that I've seen you must really want to get hurt what are you talking about there's no other reason for you to be here begin uh, the other thing too that you might not have noticed is that on these uh, God shader costumes it's very easy to see the dirt that is on the costume at the end of the match uh, it's uh, if you get hit a lot or if you do a lot of you know um, yeah basically if you get hit a lot you get knocked down a lot uh, you will see dirt on the uh, on the sh on the costume which is pretty amazing in one sense because if you don't get knocked down a lot you, there isn't any so it does matter and it matters like where you get knocked down and how much it's pretty incredible uh, for a game like this. It's like such a, a detail that I would never have bothered with as some, you know, as a, um, I would, I would think that people would notice it, that it would be like, well, what's the point, you know, why would you go through the trouble that it would take to do that um, when people probably aren't even going to notice it? So, um, yeah, I, I, I think that's pretty cool. Aquaman is a pain uh, I have to say uh, playing as him is fun and you definitely uh, especially against the AI you can definitely do some really uh, nasty things but um, as uh, against the AI with the AI having such good execution uh, it's can be tough because the AI can execute way faster than a person would be able to execute unless they're like I said like pro level uh, and even then I think the button inputs uh, might prevent you from executing as fast as uh, you would need to, to be able to do that uh, the reason I say that is because it might be like a matter of the delay and uh, I'm not talking about like online delay I'm talking about input you know just straight input delay which all games have a little bit of
So it's it's interesting. It's very interesting to see. But it definitely keeps you on your toes and definitely makes you think a lot more about how you're handling situations in some ways. Can you dodge my canary cry, Barry? I can break the sound barrier. Not if I break your eardrums. Begin. It can also make you annoyed and um, frustrated as well, but you have to get over that because it's just stupid AI, you know. But, uh, yeah, it's... I would say, like, in a situation like with Brainiac, uh, when he's playing this boss character, uh, he can, uh, he can do some things that really shouldn't be able to be done, and if it wasn't the AI doing them, he would be the most overpowered character in fighting, fighting game history, because he would just be sitting there doing all those things over and over again, because there's no visible cooldown on any of that stuff, and it's all ridiculous, you know, they're all ridiculous moves. So, uh, you know. So, um, the video after this is going to be, uh, the video that I was talking about in the last video, uh, which is going to be the level 20 gameplay that I still have no idea what I'm going to do for it. So, uh, <laughs> we can be surprised together. Uh, and then I'm gonna start uh, doing. Probably they won't be uh, this. Th probably uh, the next day of Black Canary won't be tomorrow. Uh, it'll probably be uh, towards more towards the end of the week. Uh, I'm recording this on Wednesday. Uh, it'll probably be more towards Saturday. And in the interim, uh, there will probably be one or two more videos uh, of other things, uh, Injustice 2 related, not. Um, not Black Canary. So, uh, going to have probably two videos with Black Canary at uh, level 20. And then uh, we're going to do um, some more consecutive videos of other characters. Uh, I've kind of been thinking about doing Joker because he's not as uh, visible as far as somebody that a lot of people seem to be playing. And uh, he would be good, or Swamp Thing. Uh, Swamp Thing is also another character that it doesn't seem like people are all that excited about playing. Um, although he is really, he seems really cool to me. Uh, I skipped that intro uh, because uh, this was not the first uh, run that I did against Catwoman, so I had to uh, stitch it kind of together. So, um, sorry about that, no intro, but, uh, they don't ever say anything all that exciting, uh, to each other, Black Canary and, uh, Catwoman. They don't exactly, they don't have much of a, rela of a relationship one way or another. Uh, I think that Selena kind of thinks that, uh, Dinah has some kind of a soft spot for Batman, and, uh, I don't know that she does, but, uh, you know, that's basically what they talk about. But, uh, yeah. That's fine. I'm getting my butt kicked here. I'm surprised that this is the video that goes well. I hope it is. <laughs> I don't think it is. <laughs> okay. We're gonna see one more. I think may maybe in the next one, uh, we, uh... See the intro. Ah. <laughs> oh, here we go. This is where I was supposed to have cut it. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, little behind the scenes there. <laughs> That's hysterical. Okay. Well, not going to stop now. Won't stop, can't stop. So, uh, I was just checking my buttons there. Because I was trying to figure out what I was doing wrong. <laughs> oh my god, here we go again. And, uh, I think that was something else. That was another, that was some other reason that that was in there. Sorry about that. 
but I will say that I do win here. I'm 99% sure. <laughs> oh, God. So you do get an ability where you can do the... Uh, where you can do the canary cry in the, in in the air, and it will um, it will be aimed down. So it'll be like the uh, canary cry in the super. Uh, that is an ability that you have to either acquire through a mother box or unlock. Uh, I believe it unlocks at level ten if you don't get it through a mother box. Um. I don't use it as much as I should, uh, mostly because it is a much smaller uh, area of, uh, of uh, it's much small smaller area of effect than uh, the regular Canary Cry is, and because of that, you have a much higher tendency of missing. Uh, this is also where I uh, found out that if you push the X button. While you're doing a super, uh, you can get additional damage, and if you uh, hit the button in time with um, when you hit, you will get some extra damage. There's a little, there are little cross swords by your health bar that uh, will uh, indicate to you that you uh, that you did it. Oh my gosh, I didn't finish it in this one either. Anyway, learning experience for everyone here. I. Honestly, I did go over this footage before I made this vi before I <laughs> started this audio. Anyway, um, so that is a way that you can um, make sure that you get are getting the most damage out of your super, and it is a way to also mitigate damage from uh, other from uh, other characters' supers. So uh, that way, you can really um, you can really do well. You can you can really uh, have an advantage, uh, but you have to time it perfectly. So you have to hit X in time with uh, you have to hit X in time with the with the hits. So every time the that you hit the character, uh, you have to hit X. And if it's their super that's hitting you, every time their super hits you, you have to hit X. And from what I've been told, you have to kind of do it a little bit before it happens, uh, which I have experienced that being the case. Uh, however, um, the other thing about it is that it is definitely earlier than that you think it is but it's not that early uh, I know that that sounds really weird um, but the <laughs> I know I'm totally cheesing this fight but I'm so tired of dealing with her um, but the thing is is that you can't you kinda have to just get used to it is what everybody's told me which is definitely true but it's not just that it's that um, you have to know what to look for. You have to make sure that you hit it right before the impact. And those impacts are what you have to look for. And then once you <clears throat> have the impacts down as far as when it's going to happen, then you, can, uh, then you can do it a lot easier. Um, but you have to know exactly when those impacts are going to happen. And I promise everybody that all the rest of these fights go a lot faster. So don't worry about that. It was just a little issue there with Catwoman. From now on, everything's going to be fine. You've got some things you need to hear. You'll be silent, woman. <laughs> Ask Ollie how that goes. Begin. But uh, just for the record, so everybody realizes how this works. As you level up in these multiverse events, so do your, comp so do your opponents. And gear is chosen based on 
level. So you could be fighting uh, an opponent one match that has level 14 gear because you're level 14 and they are too. And the very next match, if you turn over to level 15, then all of a sudden your opponent has level 15 gear. Well, meanwhile, you could be you could be rocking level 13 gear because or less because obviously you don't change gear between fights unless you earn the gear during the fight. So that could be a problem. <laughs> um, gear doesn't usually make that much difference, but definitely there are some situations where if you are not very well matched against your opponent, in other words, your opponent is a character like, for instance, I don't know, Supergirl, and you're playing um, Black Canary, let's say. So the fight's already a little bit difficult. And then you are have such a large gear mismatch that, uh, you know, it could be like four or five levels difference. Because, you know, obviously, if it's a long tower, uh, you don't have, uh, you know, you didn't change gear at any point. <laughs> except if you earned it. So it's very difficult to, uh, you know, to play that way in most cases. Because you are, um, you're kind of stuck with what you've got, uh, which is really pretty annoying sometimes, depending on the matchup. So I think that it may be, you know, I know this is kind of a weird uh, thing, but maybe it would be a, go a cool idea for them to have it where on that uh, screen. You know, in the in the in the in between screens that you have, uh, that you could change gear. I think that'd be really cool because that way that kind of stuff wouldn't happen. But I don't, you know, I don't know. I don't know what the technical reason would be why you couldn't do that. Uh, I guess it would be loading up a whole other part of the game. And uh, the game really is uh, really good about loading, uh, loading screens and uh, getting from one part of the game to another. Um, it's amazing to me when I boot up the game. Every time I, it strikes me, uh, every time I boot up the game, uh, you can you go right into it. Uh, you go right into the game. There's not this real long, ridiculous loading screen um, that uh, there is in so many other games. Um, that you know you're you're waiting for the you know you're waiting for the game to to start and you know it's like taking forever and all that. It's very interesting how uh, how quickly the game loads up and how much stuff it has to load in, and yet it's loading up so fast. Um, of course, it does take a couple seconds after it gets into the game uh, for it to load up all the online stuff. And that can be a little weird. Uh, like the game's been running for you know uh, a minute or two, and all of a sudden all the line, all all the online stuff lights up and be like, oh, you have to, you know, you have all these things waiting and all this stuff. But um, even so, that's really cool. I think it is really amazing how how they got that to work. I was really surprised at how fast it how fast it was. And, and really happy, of course, <laughs> about how fast it was. And it, but it's very unusual. I mean, even I mean, even on a PC, for it to get into things that fast seems like a pretty unusual. You know, it's kind of unusual. And yeah, you have to load in between matches and stuff. But think about the difference between, you know, Mortal Kombat uh, between You're with Grodd? You're a killer. Injustice you? Two and. Street Fighter 5. Just putting that out there. And, you know, Street Fighter 5 is exclusive to the uh, PlayStation and the uh, PC. And um, it still does not work half as well as this game does. 
and uh, it also, I mean, the style, I mean, I don't know what the visual style, you know, load is between the two games, but this game seems to have a lot more going on, and a lot more, you know, a lot, a lot more things that make it difficult, I would think, to uh, have running as opposed to Street Fighter, but again, I'm not a game developer. I don't understand how all that technical stuff works necessarily. It just it just looks like uh, the game is uh, a lot more complex um, than, uh, than Street Fighter V would be. And basically I'm saying this in the sense that, you know, maybe Capcom get your crap together and optimize Street Fighter V better, you know? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Not uh, that Street Fighter V is necessarily bad, but, uh, you know, maybe Capcom could do some more uh, optimization on their wonderful platform that uh, they keep they keep working on and that we're going to be stuck with for God only knows how long. So uh, we're getting to the end of the video here, and I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you've liked the uh, the adventures of Black Canary here. And um, if you did like the video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you are new around here, make sure that you uh, hit the subscribe button on your way out. And uh, I can't believe I left that in. <laughs> oh, well, you got to see Captain Cold Super. You know, how often do you get to see that, right? Oh, my gosh. There, and I didn't even talk over the intro for you, so you got to see that, too. Anyway. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this is the final fight in the video, so I hope that uh, you've enjoyed it up to this point. As I said, probably going to be having some more um, kind of random gameplay stuff coming up uh, soon. Uh, which that'll be just kind of a random character in a certain situation. Uh, you know, it could be, I don't know what, uh, it's going to be a mystery to both you and me, but, uh, then we'll have another day of Black Canary, uh, probably towards the weekend, as I said, and, uh, then maybe two, two days later, we'll have yet another one. So I don't know what all these are going to be about. Uh, I don't know what they're exactly going to consist of. But they're going to happen. So anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, let me know in the comments if there are any other characters that you would like to see. And uh, what kind of content you would like to see them in. And uh, we will... I will take a look at that and uh, put something together. So far I haven't really had anybody say anything. So I've either decided that... Uh, nobody cares or that I'm doing the right thing so uh, if you want me to keep thinking that then that's cool I can do that definitely I'm going to do what I want to do no matter what you say <laughs> but uh, I always like to have some kind of community input so somebody you know so I get some kind of an idea of what people want and what people like um, so that I can kind of focus on that uh, along with doing what I'm interested in um, so maybe we'll show off some uh, lesser shown characters. Uh, Black Canary seems to be a lesser known character, lesser shown character. Uh, but I'll probably be showing, you know, Joker, um, or maybe like I said, Swamp Thing. Uh, but we will see. So that is it, and I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Hope you're having a good day, and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you awesome people later. Bye.